Okay, today we're going to do an installation on a Phantom 3. Uh, all our Phantom 3s will from now on have the same installation. There will no longer be a difference between a Phantom 3 Standard and a Phantom 3 Advanced and Pros. To start with, first remove the two inside screws on the right hand side of the drone. These screws are too short and we won't require them again. Bring the unit in from the bottom, in place, clip the boom in place and keep the boom in the center of the gimbal. Let's add the two screws. This one, two, and tighten them down. And the second one down. We zip tie the boom in place. Snip those of those off. There we go. We put the boom almost in the middle of a landing gear or a little bit forward, and that's on purpose to uh, avoid the downward ultrasonic sensors that's on the Phantom 3. Now, but all that remains is positioning the sensor. Inside this housing, there's two LED lights. The Phantom 3 Pro and Advanced have got two. The Phantom 3 Standard and 4K only has one, and it's positioned more or less here. So we need to position this sensor right over there. And we use two zip, zip ties to do that. Join them two together. And there we go, through there, around there. Nice and tight. Cut the two zip ties off, and we're done. That's a full installation for a Phantom 3. We now turn it around. Uh, on off, switching to the front of the drone is on and the LED light will come on. We can switch it. It would have cycled once now, open close. That's automatic. Uh, it doesn't need power from a drone at all. If we power up the drone now. Okay, now that the installation is complete on the drone, let's quickly do the setup on the remote. First, we look at the Phantom 3 standard. Um, which does not have a C1 or C2 button to program. The Phantom 3 Standard and Phantom 3 uh, 4K has to be operated like this. During flight, as you take off to, to load your line and to fly out, you open the drone settings, you go to advanced settings, and there at the bottom you'll find LEDs uh, on off. If you were to switch the lights off, the device will release. If you were to switch the, the lights on, the device will close. This is for the Phantom 3 standard. We highly recommend that you keep this menu open as you fly, so that you don't fumble around looking for menus um, while you have a drone over the sea. For the Phantom 3 um, Pro and Advanced, we've got better options. We go to the remote settings, where you'll find the C1 and C2 button programming. If you open that menu and you scroll right to the top, you'll find turn on off front LEDs. We uh, select that option, and there we go. If we now go out of it, and we press the back button on the remote, the device will, because uh, the lights are off, it will now drop, and if you switch the lights back on, the device will close again. It's really as simple as that. That's an that's a installation fully complete.